Hi guys, so now that we have done regression on Keras, uh, we are taking a completely different problem, this time a classification problem, okay? And this is a famous data set, Kaggle pe bahut use hota hai data set, it's the churn modeling data set, or you can see on your screen, this is basically a data set from a bank, or uh, par we have data about some customers, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, there is this data ki un logo ne bank choda ki nahi. So basically, given these input columns, I have to predict whether a customer will leave the bank or not, or he will stay. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you ki is data ka shape kya hai. So we have got around 10,000 customers ka data, and that's nice. So a uh, bahut again hum log uh, data analysis mein nahi gusne. It's more about learning how to use Keras for classification. So you can totally see like देख के समझ में आ रहा है कि row number is not going to impact कि उसने customer छोड़ा कि नहीं same goes with customer id uh, surname से फर्क पड़ सकता है to be honest but uh, there would be so many surnames कि इस point पे उसको process कर पाना would be a difficult task especially when we don't have the capabilities of uh, NLP natural language processing so what we'll do is for starters we'll remove these three columns okay so credit score will stay geography will also stay so I'll quickly see कि geography में how many different categories are there? Obviously, it's a categorical variable. So I'll say geography dot value counts. And so there are three countries, France, Germany, and Spain. So what we'll do is we'll first label encode them. Or we will one hot encoding. Laga denge. Gender, male, female. Hona so let us quickly check that. Gender. So yeah, male and female is there. So you have to label encoding karna hai. One hot encoding bhi nahi karna. Age rahega. Tenure matlab kitne saalo se aap us bank ke saath attached ho ya associated ho. Balance is like the current balance. Number of products matlab kitni cheeze aapne bank se kharid rakhi hai. Like debit card, RD, FD, things like that. Okay. Has credit card. Credit card hai ya nahi. Is active member matlab kitna frequently aap transactions and all karte ho. Aapka estimated salary. Ye bank ne estimate kiya hai. Actual data nahi hai, but obviously it's depend karega. And finally the exited column ki bande ne chhoda ya nahi chhoda. Okay. So let's quickly do one thing because we are sure ki hume teen columns ko drop karna hai. So we would write df dot drop columns equal to and we would drop these three columns row number. We'll drop row number. We'll drop uh, <coughs> customer ID and we'll also drop surname. Customer ID, surname, and access will be equal to one, and in place would also be equal to true. And now we have df dot head. Karne se, this is the data set. Okay. Uh, so now, now the next thing that we will do is we'll do label encoding for these two these two columns okay so what we will do is we'll import from sklearn dot sklearn dot um, preprocessing we would import <coughs> the label encoder class not label binarizer label encoder uh, let's create an object encoder is equal to label encoder okay Next, what we will do is we would write uh, our data ka naam hai df. So, df of geography. We'll first take geography and uh, we'll do this. We'll write df geography is equal to encoder dot fit transform and we will pass same df geography ko pass karding right and we'll do the same thing for gender also so we would write gender is equal to encoder dot fit transform and we would pass df gender and we'll run this code and now we'll see df dot head karne se what are we getting so you can see uh, a calm curtain as a samaj mein nahi let's let's take some samples randomly draw karke so you can see our data mein, now we have geography mein, all of these three zero one and two and we also have one and zero so ye ho gaya guys. Uh, now what we have will have to do is we'll uh, do 
वन नॉट इनकोडिंग लाइक जीरो वन और टू नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज एल्वरिदम विल थिंक कि टू को ज़्यादा प्रायोरिटी वैल्यू देना है इन कंपेरिजन टू जीरो एंड वन सो वॉट वी विल डू इज यू क्विकली डू गेट डमीज सो वी वुड राइट पी डी डॉट गेट डमीज दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द फंक्शन वी वुड पास आर डेटा फ्रेम विल पास द कॉलम्स जिसके ऊपर हमें अप्लाई करना है सो फॉर नाउ इट इज ओनली जोग्राफी जियोग्राफी और जियोग्राफी के बाद वट विल डू इज विल ड्रॉप फर्स्ट ट्रू पहला वाला ड्रॉप कर देंगे एंड विल स्टोर इट बैक इन डी एफ सो नाउ इफ आई रन डी एफ I should be getting this credit score, gender, age, tenure, balance, number of products, and last में you can see geography वन geography टू So one would be for France and one would be for the second country. और एक country नहीं है so zero zero मतलब वो third country. One not encoding. I guess ये आपको पता है right? And now guys we are ready. What we will do is uh, we'll extract our y. Rest of the things would become our x. और x और y को हम लोग ट्रेन टेस्ट स्प्लिट करके विल बिल्ड आर मॉडल ओके सो लेट्स डू दिस सो लेट्स क्रिएट आर x, x वुड बी इक्वल टू डी एफ डॉट ड्रॉप कॉलम्स कॉलम्स में वी वुड पास एक्सेटेड ये हम ड्रॉप कर रहे हैं और इसको ड्रॉप करने से हमें जो मिलेगा वो बाकी की पूरी चीज को हम लोग अपना x मान लेंगे सो कॉलम्स ये हो गया एक्सेस इज इक्वल टू वन वी आर नॉट डूइंग इन प्लेस परमानेंट ऑपरेशन नहीं कर रहे जो बचा उसमें से हम वैल्यूज को फैच कर लेंगे एंड नाउ एक्स हो गया वाई वुड बी इक्वल टू डी एफ डी एफ के अंदर वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल राइट एक्सटेड या विल टेक दिस कॉलम ओके बिकॉज ये परमानेंट ऑपरेशन नहीं है यहाँ पे परमानेंटली ड्रॉप नहीं हुआ था सो so, कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता और यहाँ से वी विल फैच द वैल्यूज एंड नाउ वी हैव आर एक्स ये रहा एंड वी हैव आर वाई ये रहा एरिया ऑफ वन एंड जीरो राइट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी टू डू स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ओके सो वट वी विल डू इज विल राइट फ्रॉम एस के लर्न डॉट प्री प्रोसेसिंग वी वुड इम्पोर्ट द स्टैंडर्ड स्केलर एंड विल क्रिएट अ स्केलर ऑब्जेक्ट विच वुड बी एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड स्केलर क्लास ओके Now I would write x is equal to scalar object dot um, fit transform and uh, I would pass my x. Now this would transform the entire x in like similar range. Generally minus two to two. कभी कभी minus three to three भी जाता है जैसा मैंने notice किया. And now we'll do train test split. So from s k learn dot मॉडल सेलेक्शन विल इम्पोर्ट ट्रेन टे स्प्लिट एंड देन राइट एक्स ट्रेन एक्स टेस्ट वाई ट्रेन वाई टेस्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्रेन टे स्प्लिट एक्स ट्रेन एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉमा टेस्ट साइज to be equal to 0.2, then we would pass our random state variable to be equal to zero, and this will do our train test split. हो गया. And now guys, we are ready to do our model building. So we'll import the necessary libraries. So we'll import TensorFlow. We'll import Keras. So we would write from TensorFlow import Keras. From TensorFlow dot Keras import sequential model from TensorFlow dot Keras dot layers. I would import dense layer, and these four imports will do. Um, I'm just waiting. One more execute. Okay. मीन वाइल लेस लेयर्स होगा सो माई बैट इट शुड बी लेयर्स या एंड नाउ आई वुड बिल्ड माई मॉडल सो आई वुड राइट मॉडल इज इक्वल टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सिक्वेंशियल क्लास 
and now I would add my layers so let's add two layers for now okay so uh, we have how many input items do we have x dot shape we have 11 okay so let's take um, two hidden layers so let's write model dot add dense um, we'll take 11 activation would be equal to ReLU and since this is the first layer we'll have to provide the input dimensions and this would be equal to x crane dot shape ka 1 then we'll add our second layer dense again we'll keep 11 activation again would be equal to ReLU and finally we'll have our output layer this will have only one uh, node the reason is because this is a binary classification problem user yato bank chhod raha hai ya to nahi chhod raha so we would provide dense ke under one and this time uh, the activation function would be sigmoid because you know ki jab bhi aapke binary classification problem hoti hai aapka output should be uh, the output activation function should be sigmoid okay so in total we will have uh, 11 cross 11 121 121 plus 11 would be 132 132 plus 132 264 264 plus uh, <clears throat> 12 I guess 276 layers of uh, printable parameters on pass one chahiye. let's check that model dot summary so you can see we have 276 trainable parameters for the first one we have 132 11 plus 11 plus 11 number of bias same goes with this one 11 plus 11 11 multiplied by 11 plus 11 and then we have 11 plus 1 last node kill it okay and now what we will do is uh, we would compile our model model dot compile will pass our uh, optimizer for now we have not exper uh, experimented with anything else we have just kept Adam we learning rate bhi nahi Adam ka. We can do that, but for now, just see how can we do classification. The loss function this time would be binary cross entropy because this is a binary classification problem. I hope I am correct with the spelling. Then we provide the matrix, and matrix has to be a list. And for now, we are just keeping our matrix to be equal to accuracy. Accuracy. And we'll compile our model. Next, we'll do the final step. We would write model.fit and I'll pass my x train, y train. We would pass our batch size uh, of let's say 50 points, epochs 100, verbose 1, and validation split will be of 0.2. And I'll store the history object inside a variable by the name of history okay so this is the entire setup and now i will train my model so you can see my model is getting trained and uh, the next thing that i'll do is i'll first find out my y -pred. so y -pred will be equal to model dot uh, predict classes right predict classes function over predict classes and I'll pass my x test and from sklearn dot metrics I'll import accuracy score and inside accuracy score I will pass my y -pred, actually y test and my y -pred. and I'll run this and you can see I'm getting an accuracy of 85% okay not that uh, we can you know change certain things and we can see whether we are getting better accuracy or not but for now I am also printing out the model loss versus epoch graph so I would write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and I would pass plt dot plot and over here I would pass um, history dot history loss okay and guys this is the loss as you can see 
and I'll plot a side by side loss on the validation set just to see if there is any overfitting happening. So I would write val loss and you can see. So yeah, this is the graph and you can see thoda sa, like not much, but the validation loss is slightly higher, uh, slightly on the higher side uh, when you compare it to the training loss. So so we cannot exactly say that it's overfitting as such because the accuracy is around 85%. Uh, what we can do is uh, we can also plot the curve for accuracy as well because this time since we have given uh, accuracy as our metric, in history wale object mein, you can actually find out ki a component um, accuracy ka bhi hoga. like this. I'll show you. So you can see so there is a loss component. And if you go down, you would find out that accuracy ka bhi a component hai, which is this one. Okay, and both for training and validation set. So we have uh, val loss, validation loss, and we will also have val accuracy. Yeah, you can see it over here. Okay, so now what I will do is I'll quickly show you how can you plot the accuracy plots. So I'll copy and I'll paste it over here, and I'll replace this loss with accuracy and over here also we will replace this loss with accuracy let's run this and you can see over time accuracy is increasing and again just a loss may up to the upper uh, in terms of validation set float but the number was as you can see it's around uh, training accuracy is around 87 whereas our uh, validation accuracy is around 85 okay so I guess this um, thing will work fine on our test data set. In fact, we checked that our 85% around our accuracy. Now it's your chance. Go and experiment with this data, add some more layers, add more nodes and try to improve this accuracy or that is how you will learn. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.